All right, here's an interesting stat. 15% or more than 15% of new vehicles in Hawaii are leased. It's an option a lot of people haven't necessarily considered. James Moniz is here from Bank of Hawaii. Now, now James, why is that? I think a lot of people don't, don't necessarily think about leasing. Well, more people today are considering leasing because of the idea of options. That's kind of the first thing I think about. At the end of the lease, you have the option to trade in a vehicle, get a new vehicle, or refinance it into a loan. So that's one of the biggest reasons people are considering more because things change and, and they want the flexibility at the end of a lease. Yeah. Plus the, the monthly payments are lower, right? Absolutely. So on a typical vehicle, uh, depending on how long you lease it for, the payments can be up to $100 cheaper per month, which is a significant savings. So in a lease, you're paying for the use of the vehicle and the depreciation. So what ends up happening is on, uh, on some vehicles, the monthly savings can be about $100 per month. Uh, and that's significant. So people who are getting a new vehicle think that that's a, a better option. Now for me, one of the major reasons people also consider leasing is if they like having a new car all the time. So when you're in a lease, every three years you get a new vehicle, it's covered under the manufacturer's warranty most of the time you have it, and there's no hassle of trying to sell that vehicle when you're done with it and, and your lifestyle may change. Yeah. Okay, so let's switch sides just a little bit. Give me a downside. Well, one of the downsides of a lease, when you get one, you have to estimate how many miles you plan to drive over the term of the lease. And, you know, if that changes or you exceed that mileage and you under uh, overestimate it, you're going to end up having to pay some excess mileage. And, and that's a downside. Another thing may be, even though the lease offers you flexibility, if at the end of the lease you decide to refinance that into a loan, you're going to end up having to pay for that vehicle for a longer period because you got the advantage of the lower payment up front. So that could also be a downside. All right, so if I'm your average customer and I come into a lot like this and I'm thinking, okay, should I buy or should I lease? Give me some advice, what should I think about? What I always tell people is it depends. It depends if you plan on keeping the vehicle for a very long time. If that's the case, then you should probably get a loan. But if you plan on getting a new vehicle every, once, every few years, uh, if you like the options and the flexibility of a lease and you want a lower monthly payment, then definitely I think the lease is the better option for you. All right, lots to keep in mind, Jane Moniz, Appreciate it. By the way, this complete interview is going to be online at hawaiinewsnow.com. For James, I'm Steve Uihara.